guys, welcome to the Touchdown Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan. In this video, we're going to be breaking down some of the Seahawks' past first round picks, at least their most recent ones. We're going to go as far back as 2016. And, you know, one of our favorite draft traditions at the table is watching the Seahawks make their first round picks because they are always um, interesting, to say the least. So we're going to talk about um, their last few first round picks in the past couple years and just kind of just talk about them, see where the conversation goes and there might be some memes in there, but who knows. So yeah, the dude before you before you start, uh, before oh, you start, yeah, if you don't know, this is a long uh, meme on our channel. Like Ryan said, we talk about it as much as opportunity as we want to. So we wanted to make a full video about it. And Ryan's about to um, say some times where they didn't have a pick in the first round. They do like to trade out of the first round. And uh, we do want to say that they are pretty good drafters in the later parts of the rounds. But in our opinion, it's just not the first round. So we just kind of want to make poke fun at that a little bit but don't like hate us because we're hitting on um the seahawks organization yeah, no, trust trust us yeah. they've made some good picks definitely yeah. and this is just a more fun video for us in times where videos are sometimes hard to come by because there's not as much news happening with obviously the season possibly being put on hold but it is also the off season and things are progressing somewhat as usual not perfectly the same but we're in a time where it's after the draft We've got most of the stuff done with that. We're in a bit of a lull, so we're just talking about whatever we can. And this is a video we thought would be fun and something that we've hyped up on our channel a lot just because of all of our talkings of the Seahawks and their picks. So without further ado, uh, we're going to start in opposite. No, we're going to start in, not opposite, in chronological order, uh, starting from one of the older picks. We're not going through all their picks, but just in the past few years. Yep, so Ryan, tell us what Dan Schneider and uh, Pete Carroll decided to do with their picks. First of all. Well, in 2016, they took Jermaine Effetti, the guard from Texas A&M, with their first-round pick. And, uh, well, he's not on Seattle anymore. He's now on your guys' favorite team, the Bears. So let's talk about that one. Yep, I think he's a good lineman. Uh, but obviously, it wasn't good enough for them to keep him. I'd I honestly don't know too much about him. Maybe I should know more about him just because he's on the Bears now. But I think if he was worth that first-round pick, they would have kept him. Uh, at this point, he's not on the team anymore. And I see why they could have gone offensive line. But after a few years, they let him go. And now he has moved on to Chicago. Uh, so that it's a pick that maybe they could have gone a different position. And again, this is a draft that I don't remember ever watching. So I couldn't tell you all who else was on the board. Maybe someone else that they could have picked. Uh, but still taking a lineman is not awful, uh, but, you know, he's not a team anymore, so. Yeah, and uh, he's he's an underrated guy, I will oh, say I that. Him. I watched him, I mean, you got you got to love him now, he's um, there. So, but he was an underrated guy, but not a first-round talent. So they did miss on this. I don't know if they had a need at the offensive line at this time, and maybe they were reaching to get a lineman, not quite sure. Um, but from what we've seen from Jermaine Arfetti, he hasn't lived up to the first round's potential, but hopefully that changes for our Bears. Yeah. yeah, and then the next year in 2017, they didn't have a first round. Yeah, there's a trade. I don't know if they haven't initially traded up, but they never made a first round selection in 2017. Then in 2018, we're getting more recent now, they took the running back from San Diego State, Rashad Penny, a familiar name. And that, that's not a terrible no, pick considering his talent. Um, at the time of the draft, people were shocked that um, he was taken there instead of a couple other running backs. Um, we've seen a lot of injuries with Rashad Penny over the years that he's uh, been on the Seahawks team. He had that one um, towards the end of this season when he was really starting um, to look a lot better. But he really hasn't been the main running back in Seattle. Um, well, just so. to be fair, there really has never been a main running back in Seattle because they always go get injured. Every single one of them at yeah. some point gets injured. Chris Carson has his problems getting injured. In, injured also he has fumbling problems that's besides the point uh and then obviously Rashad Penny has had some injury problems but he was picking it up a bit last year I had him on my fantasy team for a bit I don't remember if I played him or not but there were some games where he was doing good and I was like okay maybe I should have played him uh he was more involved in the past game so in the future that could be a good pick if he ramps up to be the guy that they hope he could be so I can't be too mad at that pick I think as we get more recently, the picks have gotten worse. But I'm actually someone who likes Penny, uh, so I think it's a decent pick. 
Uh, but as Tyler said, they could definitely good. live without Penny. With I mean, yeah. Chris Carson could be fine in the back. Yeah, I think Chris Carson. I back. think they were reaching for a running back at this point. So this is not where I would have gone in this draft, and this is where I started to actually know a bit about the draft. Um, but yeah, I by just, this point, I think we all were in that same boat with you, Tyler. Yeah. But also at this point, and giving some uh, to the Seahawks, they didn't really know much about Chris Carson yet, so they did need yeah. a running back yeah. because they didn't lose Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. So, yeah. making sense, I mean... But I think there were some better running backs that were drafted later that ended up doing uh, better. I yeah. couldn't give you names, but I the could try and find sense. it. The pick makes sense. The position makes sense. And I what like year was that, Ryan? I'm not a hater of this pick, honestly. 17. Or no, 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 excuse me, 18. We're 18. making this video 17. with the somewhat intent to uh, diss the picks, uh, but I actually like this one, so I can. I, I yeah. like Rashad Penny. I think he had a good future. I hope. Yeah, no one likes to be dissed, but, you know, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> not, it's not your, it's not your I knew, I, As soon as I said that, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, well, you know me well. <laughs> yes. And, uh, oh, well, now we're getting into really, really good meme territory here. So we get even more yeah. recent. 2019, they took LJ Collier, the defensive end, out of TCU. And, yeah, this was just a, a Seahawks pick. <laughs> yeah, LJ Collier, uh, someone who last year I couldn't. Besides knowing about the draft, Tyler, click the screen real quick. Hmm? Click this screen. It's great. Oh, gotcha. Uh, besides uh, knowing a bit about the draft and doing mock drafts and stuff, I know who he was. I knew who he was. But I also knew that he should not have gone where he did. They definitely reached for him. I don't remember who was still on the board in last year's draft. But uh, maybe they could have used that, that edge rushing position. Eventually went out and got Jadavian Clowney anyways to solidify that edge. So maybe that's why Collier didn't play as much because they did get Clowney. So, um, but I think it was maybe another bit of a reach, someone, a player that you didn't know as much about, someone who was not projected in the first round as much. And yes, I understand they did need that edge position a bit more to get some pass rush in, uh, but it was most definitely a reach in this guy, LJ Collier, someone that uh, if I had not known about that draft, I would not know who he is now because he just has not made an impact that I know about. Well, he's still got some time to make that impact. Um, so, who knows? But I just don't think that was a good pick, and we said it from the time of the draft. I do want to go back to the last one. I found some running backs that were drafted later than Rashad Penny. Um, in the third round, there was Royce Freeman. Darius Geis was in the second round. Um, hold on, let me keep scrolling up. Carryon Johnson as well. Ronald Jones the second. Um, there's a big one that I do want to mention last. Um, Sony Michelle and Nick Chubb. Um, they missed out on that. So those were the guys yeah. that they um, missed yeah, the out on. Guys. And I think the only running back taken before that was Saquon Barkley, and that was at number two to the Giants. I think, yeah. 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 And then uh, going back to LJ Collier, yeah. now I'm looking at some of his stats. He got zero uh, sacks, I think three combined tackles, okay. one assist on a tackle, or three total tackles, I guess, one assist. And two solo tackles. So not that good. And that was it. Uh, he did. He played eleven games. Did not start a game though. I mean that some rookies take time, but I and just plus, don't like I said, Jadavian Claudie was uh, picked late later, so yeah, that could have taken right, off the field. Yeah, that's right. All right. Yeah, yeah. He he didn't really have a, a huge impact, but you know may, maybe he'll turn it around. He's got a long. He could have a long career. Who knows? But yeah. now. We are under the final pick. We're going to talk about their most recent first round pick. This was this was just funny being able to you know watch this one. You know, as I said before, and I'm going to say now, some things never change. You know, the Seahawks, uh, they're going to draft the way they want to draft. At 27th overall, they took Jordan Brooks, linebacker out of Texas Tech this year in the 2020 draft. It's a surprise, but also not a surprise. What do we make of it? Well, to be completely fair. Um... We don't know how Jordan Brooks is going to play yet. Uh, we're in the offseason that he got drafted. So we can't say all oh, this pick sucks without knowing it. That being said as well, uh, Patrick Green was still on the board at this time, and they passed on him. The Ravens later took him. But yeah. I don't think Jordan Brooks was a first-round player. Uh, can't hate on his play because it was not bad. Um, but can't hate on his NFL play because we haven't seen him in the NFL yet. Yeah. Um, I thought maybe they could have gone linebacker position, but with Patrick Queen on the board, I don't see why they would decide to go Jordan Brooks. Um, they could have got him later on, but they do their thing reaching to get a player they want. I talked about this in a different video. Jordan Brooks is somewhat a hard evaluation because the team that he was around on Texas yeah, Tech, that sure. defense was not great. He was kind of the diamond in the rough on that team. He was the leader of that defense. So I understand why they might be high on him, just like taking a chance, just like you could say, 
comparisons to trying to evaluate I thought even Jordan Logan Love. Wilson of Wyoming was better than yeah. uh, well, he, Jordan he Brooks. Yeah. Uh, but he went in the third round, yeah. I think. Uh, but pick. you can compare it to trying to evaluate Jordan Love in a sense because gone? he was around other players that maybe were not as good uh, at a lower uh, in greatness. Or I guess that's how I just said that sentence. Lower in greatness uh, team in the, in Division One football in college. So it's, it's a hard evaluation, I guess you could say. Um, so I think it was right to probably go linebacker position. Maybe they could have gone edge with you. Cherry Gross Matos and AJ Ebenezer are still on the board at that point especially because it looks like they're not going to get back edge rusher to Jadavian Clowney. Um, so I think that they definitely could have gone edge. They didn't need that linebacker, though, so I understand why they might have gone that position. But Jordan Brooks was not a guy that was projected to go in the first round by a lot of people. But the Ravens, or I almost said Ravens, I'm thinking of the wrong bird. The Ravens Seahawks. made the right pick. Yeah, Ravens, Ravens were next. Uh, but the Seahawks, uh, they did their thing, and they reached for the sky and they soared up like the birds that they are and had a reach. And also, just with this pick before Ryan can put his opinion in here, just wanted to mention, as I mentioned in the video before, how on the last day, uh, days of me watching film as the draft got closer and closer, I told Ryan and Tyler that I was watching uh, some guys, I think I said Medivike, and then also Jordan Brooks, and they laughed at me like, why are you watching Jordan Brooks when you could have watched other people? Well, you guess sure what, guys? You always, yeah, got, hey, you always hey, got to be prepared. He's planning for the Seahawks, I yeah. guess. You always got to be prepared for the Seahawks. You got to watch people that could be reaches, could be underrated players. You guys are name brothers, too. Yeah, That's it's true. spelled differently. Yeah. But I didn't know it was spelled that way until I saw he was drafted. I, I had it wrong in my, um, my, my book that I wrote that all my, my uh, stuff. I think in. I had it wrong, too. Yeah. Ryan, do you have an opinion yeah. about that one you want to throw out there? Yeah, I, I do. And, you know, I appreciate the Seahawks giving us a good laugh on drafts, night, yeah, especially fun. during these it was know, really uncertain fun. times. Especially it's towards the end of our Something to fun. laugh about, you know, so something to, uh, you know, joke around about like we are in this video. But um, you know, just too many players available. You know, Jordan Brooks, I did not have a first round grade on him. He was not in my top 50. And, you know, there's just better players available. You know, take one of those edge rushers. Take Yutur Gross Matos or A.J. Epinesa. There's better linebackers on the board that I had higher on my big board than Jordan Brooks. There's a lot of them. I had Zach Vaughn higher. Get this. I had Patrick Queen Whoa. higher on my big board than Jordan Brooks. Like, that says a lot. So, yeah, Seattle, they, they did not nail this one. Yeah, I knew that. I know that Patrick Queen thing. He doesn't um, like yeah, Patrick Queen if you don't yeah, know I that. said it. You know, he's... He is higher than some people on maybe despite what you guys may think. But yeah, Seattle, you know, there's better players at Josh the position so that were there at the time. Seattle. Like Zach Bond, and it still feels weird to say Patrick Queen. And there's also some good linebackers that went in the later rounds. But honestly, there's just too many better better players available, period, for this pick to be justified. So, you know, but they're the Seahawks, so We'll you see know, if Jordan Brooks can prove us wrong, I guess. Yeah, yeah who knows? that's right. Only time will we, tell at we, this point. We can't judge this pick maybe too much, like I said. We're, we're memeing the Seahawks. Yeah, maybe this video will become a meme when yes. LJ Collier and Jordan Brooks <laughs> that's turn true. into some that's of the greats in the NFL. So this video could be memed in the future. And if it does, I'd like to be the one who memes it. Yeah, you're right. And uh, while we're being positive, uh, first off, Ryan, I did want to ask you about Patrick Green. I'm glad you said that. Uh, second off, the year before they drafted uh, Erfetti in the first round, they got Bruce Irvin in the first round, right? Well, that was actually a while ago because they didn't have oh, a first round pick yeah. from 2013 yeah. to 2015. That was 2012. So that was that oh, was uh, their last first round pick before that. So they actually did get a, a good first pick, but we didn't want to mention That's it probably since we were kind of roasting them. So yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta that. give them props for that. At least they okay. did get one uh, legendary player in the first round. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with that, I think we've meeted enough Seahawks fans. If you're watching this video, we don't hate your team. You guys have a good yeah. roster. And Seahawks like I said, you guys have great second, third, fourth, sixth, fifth round, seventh, all the other all picks that they Let's have. Keep naming numbers. They're good uh, later on in the draft, but the first round just hasn't really seemed to pan out the way that they would hope. Um, so we just wanted to mention that. Mm -hmm. All right, so make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, even if you don't like what we said about the Seahawks. Um, hit the notification bell and comment your opinions about these picks down below. With that, we'll see you guys later. See ya. See ya.